What if a pit bull encountered a wild animal like a wolverine? The American Pit Bull Terrier is a companion and family dog breed. Originally bred to bait bulls, the breed evolved into all-around farm dogs and later moved into the house to become nanny dogs because they were so gentle around children. Their tenacity, gameness, and courage make them popular competitors in the sports of weight pulling, agility, and obedience. The Wolverine is the largest and fiercest member of the weasel family. This land-dwelling mammal is known by many other names including the skunk bear, devil bear, carcajou, and glutton. If the Wolverine was the size of a bear, it would be the strongest animal on Earth. Size and Appearance What's common among pit bull type breeds is the square shaped head, muscular body, short hair, and that adorable jowly face. Pit bull terriers also have a variety of colorings, including red, blue, brown, gray, black, and white, brindle, and more. The neck runs into a deep, thick, well sprung chest. The American Pit Bull is a very muscular, stocky, yet agile dog that is extremely strong for its size. In terms of size, American Pit Bull Terriers can grow up to 20 inches in height, 50 centimeters for the males, while on average, the females are usually 16 to 18 inches tall, 40 to 45 centimeters. These dogs can weigh up to 85 pounds, 38.5 kilograms. Wolverines resemble a small, squat, broad bear, 26 to 36 inches long, 65 to 90 centimeters, excluding the bushy tail. Shoulder height is 14 to 18 inches, 36 to 45 centimeters, and weight is 20 to 66 pounds, 9 to 30 kilograms. The males are as much as 30% larger than the females. Wolverines have short, thick legs and long, curved, non-retractile claws. Wolverines have a round, blunt head with a short, pointed snout, with very strong teeth and powerful jaws, which allow them to devour every bit of their prey. Wolverines have thick, dark brown body fur with a lighter colored stripe running the entire length of each side of their body. Wolverine's feet are equipped with pads which enable them to travel easily through heavy snow. Range and History Until the mid-19th century, the now extinct Old English Terriers and Old English Bulldogs were bred together to produce a dog that combined the gameness of the Terrier with the strength and athleticism of the Bulldog. This type of dog, which was bred in the British Isles, became known as the Bull and Terrier. These dogs arrived in the United States in the late 19th century, where they became the direct ancestors of the American Pit Bull Terrier. In the United Kingdom, Bull and Terriers were used in blood sports such as bull baiting and bear baiting. Wolverines are found in North America and Northeast Eurasia, in the boreal zone of the Northern Hemisphere. They require large expanses of relatively undisturbed boreal habitat. Wolverines are found in Scandinavia and Russia to 50 degrees north latitude. In North America, they are found in Alaska and Northern Canada, but can also be found in mountainous regions along the Pacific coast as far south as the Sierras of California. Wolverines are found in alpine forests, tundra, open grasslands, and boreal shrub transition zones at or above timberline. Diet The healthy feeding tip for your pit bulls is to maintain a healthy diet for them. The dietary complements should be added for the optimum growth of the pit bull. So it requires a lot of water and exercise to remain healthy and fit. The addition of raw food nutrition matters a lot to the pit bull. A full cup of dog food in the daytime for lunch and accordingly for dinner also. 
Along with dog food, you have to give table scraps and fresh meats to add more nourishment. Wolverines are omnivores. They eat both meat and vegetation. Typical meals for a wolverine include large game like caribou, moose, and mountain goats, smaller animals like ground squirrels and rodents, and even birds' eggs and berries. They like meat best, though, and will go to great lengths to get it. They will dig down into burrows and kill hibernating animals. Wolverines are sneaky when finding food, too. They have strong jaws and teeth and can crush a carcass and munch right through the bone. They have been known to eat the bones and teeth of their prey. Wolverines also seem to be aware of how to store food. Research shows that wolverines use snow as refrigerators to keep their food fresh. Temperament and Behavior Affectionate, tenacious, attached, intense, a pit bull longs to be a companion to the right person. They're protective, but love people. Because they were historically used as fighting dogs, pit bull terriers have a rough reputation. Compared with other dog breeds, the pit bull is not disproportionately dangerous. And although we now keep dogs mostly as family dogs, many dogs were purposely bred to do the exact things we fault them for. Early socialization and consistent training will go a long way. The lifespan of American pit bulls is about 10 to 12 years. Wolverines are well adapted to winter and do not hibernate. They are mostly solitary, except when mating. Wolverines have a strong-smelling secretion called musk, used to warn others to keep out of their territory. They also spray the places they hide their food to discourage others from raiding them. Sometimes active during the day, they are nocturnal animals. They can quickly climb trees and are excellent swimmers. Now let's get back to our big question. What would happen if a pit bull fought a wolverine? Who would win? Wolverine's jaws are strong enough to crush bones. The wolverines have better weaponry with two-inch razor-sharp claws and slightly stronger bite force, more flexible and agile, and just strong in body strength. The wolverine literally has no fear. They are known to pick a fight with animals five to ten times their size. A real game-bred pit bull puts up a really nasty fight and maybe pulls it off. The wolverine is very strong and built low to the ground. It's hard to get at. But a pit is also built low to the ground, is very strong, has speed and endurance and a fight to the death mentality that isn't really found in the natural world. That pit bulls can take more damage and keep on fighting more than any other canid gives them a far better chance than big canids. The quickness would be a problem, and the tenacity they bring to the fight would be something a wild wolverine has never experienced. The wolverine would be in for a hard fight and may even get killed. I have always advocated that claws are exceedingly useful fight winners. Pit bulls are game animals in the extreme, but have weaponry suited to fighting other dogs where they excel. In other words, they have been adapted to fight other dogs of the same species or otherwise, but with jaws only and not forelegs grappling. With the help of the forelimbs, however, the wolverine may outgrapple the pit bull. A well-known fighting tactic for the wolverine is to bite and roll, similar to crocodilians in this respect, which, when done repeatedly to a facial part, could seriously hurt the pit bull since it would result in tearing of the flesh after a single rotation. The pit bull's biting and shaking is less efficient overall, though, since lifting the wolverine off the ground could allow it to move in the direction of the shaking and result in less damage, although still damaging due to the sharp teeth and strong jaws of the dog. Overall, 
The outcome of the fight would probably depend on which animal has the best combination of how much damage it can take and dish out relative to one another that would allow it to win the fight. Assuming the size of the specimens considered wouldn't offset this hypothesis. I'd be willing to favor the wolverine here, as while it could likely take similar amounts of damage in a fight to the death, it could also prevent the pit bull from delivering more attacks of its own in an interval of time by using its forelimbs, while the dog would have difficulty preventing a counterattack. Wolverines are more innately aggressive and have some physical characteristics that make them the top animal in this fight. So the Wolverine is the most likely winner in a fight. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.